As a homeless encampment continues to grow outside of St. Louis City Hall, there are new calls for city leaders to take action. Five on your side's Holden Kerwicki spoke with members of the Board of Aldermen today, and he joins us live downtown. Holden. Well, and there are roughly 1,500 people that are homeless in the city of St. Louis at any given time. While city leaders continue to look at ways to get them all help, I went over and spoke to members who are camping outside of City Hall about the message that they're trying to send to city leaders. As the homeless camp outside City Hall continues to grow. It's just mind boggling that it's like at the front door of City Hall. DeAndre Commons admits it's become an all too common sight in the city of St. Louis. In any encampment, the mood is down um, because the unhoused population already feel like a forgotten population. And then to be posted up outside in the city, it's just it's just ridiculous. He spent the last 15 years in camps like this trying to provide medical help to people in need like Sharice Anita Jackson. I didn't choose to be out here. She's been living on the streets for the past several months and chose to stay outside of City Hall to send a message. It was because of basically liars and thieves and the biggest crooks are the politicians, the money. It's it's not being used for what it should be. The St. Louis Board of Aldermen is looking at ways to provide solutions to homelessness, but legislation is at least a week away from being introduced. That would uh, create a homeless bill of rights and also a zoning change to make it easier to open shelters in the city. They've given out tents, but still that doesn't fix the problem. You're still out here. One of the challenges we have at the moment is there is not enough appropriate shelter space. In the short term, the city is going to continue to rely on professional help from people like Commons. And I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be. I pray for the best, uh, but prepare for the worst. But until a fix is in place, Anita Jackson says she's going to stay outside of City Hall to send a message. And these people aren't the problem. The problem is they don't have anywhere to go. So what are you going to do? Legi New legislation is expected to be introduced by the Board of Aldermen next week that could provide some flexibility for the city to provide additional resources to the homeless. A city spokesman actually texted me a few minutes ago and told me that this local shelters are at 82% capacity at this time. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Holden Kerwicki, 5 on your side.